For seven centuries, Rome grew by assimilating immigrants and conquered peoples. They provided much needed labor and they allowed immigrants and refugees to settle underpopulated territories so the territories may prosper. They directed these immigrants to agriculture so that they may be able to feed the empire cities and armies and they allowed them to be soldiers in the Roman military so that they can fight and help in the wars of Rome. And Rome also allowed these immigrants and refugees to attain citizenship. However, Roman assimilation failed when the Hun warriors swept into Europe from the east. The Huns overran some Germanic Goth tribes and drove people from the west and south into the imperial borders of Rome. By contemporary accounts, a collective of men, women, and children ranging from 200,000 and somewhat fewer by modern estimates massed across the Danube River, begging for asylum. The Eastern Roman Emperor, Valens, who reigned in Constantinople while his western counterpart ruled in Italy, welcomed one main Gothic tribe, the Trevingi, on highly favorable terms. Something to note is that the Trevingi were later called the Visigoths to denote that they were the Goths who inhabited the western side of the Roman Empire. Also, the reason why there are two Roman emperors is because earlier in the third century, Emperor Diocletian decided to split the empire between the west side and the east side to ease administration between two emperors for the fact that the empire was too big as it was on its own. Now, back on track. Usually, when Rome accepted barbarians, it dispersed them in small groups to speed assimilation and keep them from forming rebellious critical masses. However, the Roman Emperor was off with his army fighting the Iranian Empire. Valens didn't have enough troops to supervise the dispersal of the barbarians, and he was eager to receive more German soldiers in his army. Thus, he granted the Trevingi permission to stay together and choose where they wished to settle and uh, their chief, the chief of the barbarians, um, to show gratitude, offered to convert to Christianity. The Roman garrison put the Trevingi into camps that became like prisons, and corrupt local officials siphoned off the food that was sent to the camps. And at the same time, they refused to let the Goths leave the camps to go and buy food. It is said that starving refugees reportedly sold their own children into slavery for as little meat as they could, which was mostly dog meat. And overall, the Trevingi were neglected and abused by the Romans. The Trevingi definitely wanted out of the situation, and so they grabbed whatever weapons they could find that the guards were not confiscated and used anything else they could improvise with. Around the same time, another Gothic group known as the Orthogoths, whom the Romans had denied entry to, now poured across the river. Slaves, miners, prisoners, and German soldiers already serving under Rome likewise rose up. Roman Emperor Valens decided to send his army back from the Levant to put down the uprising and eventually return to lead it. He also asked for aid from his co-emperor in the west. About two years later, after fleeing across the Danube River, the Goths met the imperial army at Adrianople where Turkey, Greece, and Bulgaria now meet. The Visigoth chief offered peace for land, but the emperor Valens refused. The Goths won an overwhelming victory, killing most of the Roman troops and even killing Roman emperor Valens himself. Once their victory was solidified, the Goths had established themselves as an independent power within the borders of the empire. And in 410 AD, they sacked Rome itself. This refugee crisis played a significant role in the fall of the western half of the Roman Empire. If Rome had properly assimilated the Goths as they did with prior refugees and immigrants, the western side of the Roman Empire may have not fallen as fast as it did or even at all. However, there are many factors that contributed to the fall of the Roman Empire. I think it's safe to say that if these Gothic tribes were assimilated properly into Roman society, history as we know it now would be vastly different.